Hello, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. Well, something really cool happened to me last week. Hold on, I gotta get this. I got a book in the mail from my buddy Richard Arsenault, Where Jesus Walked, Experience the Presence of God. And it's a collection of photos from the Holy Lands with passages of scriptures that are either rooted within the idea of the photo or are uh, pictures of, of a location where the, the statement may have been made or something like that, or the events happen. A, an example that I just really like. Here's a picture from the Golan Heights of wheat fields. You can see them right there. And the passage of scripture is Jesus saying, do not, do you not say four months more and then the harvest? I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields. They're ripe for harvest. I love that passage and I love the picture because the picture itself uh, 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 teaches us in visual ways to understand what Jesus was explaining, that right before your eyes is what God wants you to do today. So don't just be thinking about, oh, I'm praying for what's going to happen four months down the road, but live with vision of what's right in front of you. And having that picture jump out of the page is really special to me to help drive home that point. So I was thinking about that because Richard's also the one who got me started doing my video thoughts for the day. Thought it would be a good way to stay in touch with people during the isolation that, that was brought on by the COVID infection and, and all that that meant. And so uh, I put those together and decided this week, I would talk about books that have been given to me that have made a difference in my life. And so Richard's book, for example, is one that I'm reading now. It's by my bedside. It's with that stack of books. I don't know if you've got a stack of books you read or not, but that one's by mine. So maybe this week I can give you some ideas of books that you might want to read as well. This is a very small little book. This is a book that was given to me by Skip McBride. It's entitled The Red Sea Rules by Robert Morgan. And there are 10 simple rules based upon Jesus of Jesus, God, either one, they're the same, uh, God leading the Israelites out from Egypt and taking them to the Red Sea or Reed Sea, the, the Hebrew reads. And so the, the Reed Sea was not the way perhaps a human would choose to go, but that's the route God gave them. And it resulted, if you've read the book or seen the movie or know the story, it resulted in Pharaoh, the most powerful army we know of at that time in the world. Pharaoh pursuing Israel and, and in, in a sense trapping them right there at the Reed Sea, the Red Sea, where they couldn't pass through absent divine intervention. And so from that story, Robert Morgan has drawn 10 principles that help us in our life. Now, this is a video thought for the day. I don't have very long, so I'm just going to pull out three to give you a taste of why this book is well worth your reading. First one, realize Red Sea rule number one. Realize that God means for you to be where you are. See, the Israelites were not there because they made a wrong turn. The Israelites were not there because Moses was a bad leader. God was leading the Israelites in a, a cloud of, by day and a fire by night. I mean, he, he was leading them. They were where God meant for them to be. And in human eyes, they may not have been in a good location but they were precisely where they needed to be for God to work a miracle over 3,000 years ago that we still remember, celebrate, recognize, draw strength from, and make movies about today. Red Sea Rule, another one that I really, really like, is Red Sea Rule number five. Number five is stay calm and confident and give God time to work. If I'd been one of those Israelites stuck there between Pharaoh's army and the Red Sea, faced with either slaughter or drowning, uh, and, and I had my family, my kids, my elder aging mother, I mean, if, if I had been in that position, 
I suspect I'd have hit the panic button, but there was no need to because God was present. And when God is present and God leads you there, you can stay calm and confident because you know God is your rescue, he is your refuge, and he will not abandon you. All right, last one real quick before we stop for the day. Red Sea rule number eight. It says, trust God to deliver in his own unique way. That's the God we have. And we can trust him. Whoever would have thought he would just cause the waters to part, his people to pass through on dry land, and then close them back up on Pharaoh's army. But that's our unique God. So I'm going to talk this week about books that have been given to me that have made a difference in my life. I hope you've got books that have made a difference in your life. And if you're looking for one, today I recommend The Red Sea Rules by Robert Morgan. God bless you. We'll look at another book tomorrow.